Rosie. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, tugging along on the old rag dog. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's back. Jim's drawing book. The world drifts by the window frame And Rosie and Jim, we play our games <coughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim Finding stories every day Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim And John, he writes them down <laughs> Hello, I'm John You saw me steering the boat earlier on that's not my real work. My real work is writing books. And they're books for children, just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a fine day, so I'll begin with that. One. Fine day. And then I'll draw the canal with two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. must be about here, and I'm going to go all the way up to here. Oh, there's a place along here where they make glass. If I go along this way, I'll come to it. I think I'll go and see, because I've always wondered how they make glass. Let's go and have a look. Mustn't forget my life jacket. See how they make glass. Jim, I think he said we were going to see where glass comes from. He did, Rosie. He says we're going to go all the way down the canal to find where glass comes from. Yeah, what a noggin. Comes from that cupboard over there. I think he knows his glasses are in the cupboard, Rosie. He wants to know how they're made. Well, I know how to wash them. <laughs> splish, splosh, rub-a-dub, we'll get the dishes clean. <laughs> Swish, flush, rub and scrub, the best you've ever seen. Swish, swash, swishity swash, here's another glass. Now, what's left to do? I wash Jim. up the... But... <laughs> <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> My goodness, what a lot of glass there is everywhere. And it's funny stuff. The houses are full of it, of course, with all the windows. They're all made of glass. You can see through them. And you can see yourself in them. They work like mirrors sometimes. And they reflect the light. And you can see a picture in them. All sorts of other glass things as well. In our houses and outside. Here <laughs> is oh. <laughs> Duck. <laughs> That's Duck in there. Yeah. And here is Rosie. <laughs> and here is 
Jim. <laughs> <laughs> here is Rosie. Here is Jim. Here's a glass we, we all, all are, are in. <laughs> See that? Do you like that duck? <laughs> of course, mirrors are made of glass as well. Under what else? Oh, yes, bottles. And drinking glasses that you use inside the house. Rosie? Oh, when I look at you through this glass, Rosie, you look all higgledy piggledy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have a look. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh! Jim! I can see a shape like a big pointed hat. Yeah. Hey, that looks like a big pointed wizard's hat, Rosie. Oh, that must be the old cone where they made glass in the old days. I think I'll have a stop and have a look at that. Doesn't look like a house. More like a um, giant ice cream cone upside down. Good afternoon. Good and afternoon. John. I'm and Christine. So this is what it's like inside the cone. Well, this is where they made glass a long time ago. Really? But why is it this shape? Well, it's basically a chimney. There was a hole in the top for the smoke to go out. Mm -hmm. Then there was a large fire in the centre, oh. and the glassmakers worked in a circle around the edge. Oh, I see, yes, yes. <gasps> a wizard's hat as big as a house. Just think how big the wizard must be. <laughs> it's not a house, Noggin. It's made of bricks. It's the chimney of an old glassworks. Ooh, beautiful marbles. I must buy some of these. I'm just choosing some marbles. I've just been looking at this beautiful glassware. And what I'm curious about is what it's made of. I can't guess. It's made from sand. Sand? Mainly sand with a few other ingredients. You mean sand like the sand at the seaside? Sand it is such lovely stuff To trickle and wickle and pour Old sand from the sea where the mermaids sing Upon the distance like being at the seaside here. <laughs> um, Jim, what are you making? A sandcastle? No, oh, making a sand boat. It's so hard to believe. It's so beautiful. Transparent, right? And how is it made nowadays? Well, would you like to come to see? I'd love to. And what happens to the sand to make it turn into glass? Well, it's heated up until it becomes very hot. And then the molten glass is orange in colour and quite soft. The men are gathering it from the furnace on the end of the iron. It really looks soft and sticky, doesn't it? It is, yes. And they have to hold it very carefully, I should yes. think. Yes, well, it's very hot. Yes. Oh, come on, Jim, come and look at this. C careful, Rosie, it's very hot. They've melted all the sand and things to make it into glass. And then they will blow down the iron. It's like a hollow tube. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And the glass on the end of it will swell up like a balloon. Oh, yes, I see. That man, he's blowing it up like that. <laughs> blowy, blowy, balloony. And what, what are they making? They're making wine glasses. Mm -hmm. And that's the bowl of the wine glass that you can see there being made. Yes, and it's still hot. Yes, it's very hot. Yes, yes. yes. so nobody can touch it. Oh, no, And no. it's still soft as well. Yes, it's very soft. Ooh, Jim! That soft stuff is turning into glass. That's, that's magic. magic! And now he's got it on the arms of his chair and he's twirling it backwards and forwards. What is he doing there? And he's getting it ready to put the stem of the wine glass. And here comes a man with some more hot glass on the end of a rug. Well, he's going to make that into the foot. The foot? Oh, where the, the glass stands on yes, the table. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. 
And he's sticking it on and he's going yes, to... And then he's going to smooth it. Smoothing it with yes. a piece of wood. Yeah. Smooth it, smooth it, smooth it, smooth it, smooth it. He's turning it round and round and round and round. He's made a new wine glass. And when it goes oh. cold, does it go really hard like the glass I drink out of? Yes, that's right. And then a pattern can be cut onto the glass. Marbles. They make wizzly windows, Rosie. Uh, where did you collect them from? Well, um, well, they fell out of Fizzgog's trousers. They ran right down his legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a hole in my pocket. And I've lost all my marbles. There, lovely Sambo. All finished. Well, thank you very much for a fascinating day. You're very welcome, John. Please come again sometime. I will. Thank right. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, quick, he's coming. I have lots of ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One fine day, Rosie and Jim were chugging along through a magical crystal city where sunlight sparkled off the glass buildings. They saw a giant with a cone-shaped hat and inside his hat Hot furnaces turned sand from the seaside into beautiful shining glass. The giant could grant wishes, so Jim wished he could go to the seaside to play in the sand. And suddenly he was there with Rosie building a sandcastle boat. Now Rosie and Jim lived on a boat, so they knew they had to have windows to look out of. It was Rosie's turn to make a wish. She wished for some lovely glass hoops. They made perfect porthole windows for the magic sand boat. When they looked out, they saw the seawater rising all round them. But the sand boat was magic. It sailed away and turned into Rosie and Jim's very own boat, the Rag Doll. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, tagging and long on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye.